The Steelers train continues to move in the right direction. This week, powered by a sharp Byron Leftwich. Jeff, let's start at the top of the game. First of all, actually, let's not start at the top of the game because I want to talk about the fans for a second. You guys travel deep. I'm so impressed. That FedEx field was at least a third of Steeler fans. I tell you what, uh, that's the yeah. That, hats off to our fans. They do it everywhere we go. Uh, I always give the example. I've played in Seattle before, and when they travel over there in San Francisco, you know they're true fans because that's nowhere near uh, Pittsburgh. But you know, there's 92,000 or something in uh, Washington, and uh, when we were winning towards the end, we were winning most of the game after we started a little slow. But once we were winning, it was really loud. But I tell you what, when Washington did something good, it was way louder than our fans. But <laughs> Can't really help that 92,000 people. They travel great. Well, second half, it was just a sea of terrible towels, and I was really impressed. But, okay, now let's start at the top of the game. Let's talk about the onside kick straight out of the fence. What? Yeah. I have one question, and it's why. Uh, well, it's, this is a game where to get momentum, especially on a road, Monday night football. Um, we were the underdogs, you know. We deserved to be. They were 6-2, and two, and they were heading in the right direction. And we just came off a tough loss. So, uh Coach Tomlin told me, he said, don't tell any of the coaches, none of your teammates. He told me on uh, Friday, he said, if, if we get a chance to get the opening kickoff, we're going to do a middle dribble kick, which, to say the least, I did my part. I kicked it 12 yards, I dove, and <laughs> it just so happened the guy that one of our, one of our uh, linebackers on each side of me was supposed to take out, he dove down there. He, all, all, all we had to do was hit that guy, and I had the ball, but you know, it was a smart play by their guy, and uh, hats off to him for that because that was the I was the only time I get nervous in that situation. If you hit it eight yards, just kind of stare at it, <laughs> and then, then you end up getting blown up. So, um, you know, I actually kicked it pretty well, but, you know, backfired on us. But you have to take chances in this game. Okay, Jeff, Willie Parker is back in the lineup. His knee looked pretty good. What's it like for the team to have him back? It's awesome. Uh, you know, Moeldy's done an awesome job. Kerry Davis, even though he's not our top running back, he's a fullback. He's been carrying the ball well. Um, can't say enough about those guys that filled the role for him. But you know, when Willie back, when Willie is back, you see uh, you see the speed burst. Uh, he is uh, he's, he's quite fast to say the least. And uh, he made a lot of plays last night. Didn't get over 100 yards, but he made some big plays in crucial uh, crucial situations. So um, you know, it's it's awesome to see Willie back. I know he's sore and beat up today. It's been a while since he got banged around, and it's a tough game. But um, I know where he's going to move in the right direction. Okay, just real quick, because I do want to get to Byron uh, before we go to break here. But let's talk about Ben for a second. How long can you actually play injured before you start affecting the team? I don't know. You know, uh, Washington came out, you know, full, full blitz. Uh, you know, I wanted to get after Ben early, um, and they were feeding off the crowd. You know, the onside kick didn't help, but that's a chance we took. And, you know, uh, ben, Ben's great. He's played through an in injury from week one. He's not going to be, he's not going to get any better. Uh, I mean, he can gradually get better, but we don't have enough time to rest to actually heal your body. So he's tough. He'll make it through. And uh, if, if he does get hurt and can't make it, you got Byron. Obviously, you saw what he did. Exactly. Second half stats totally looked like it should be a Ben Roethlisberger, but Byron led us to the victory. And we are going to take a quick break right now, but we'll be right back with more of the Jeff Reed Show. <laughs> 